man who robbed you blind of 85k who stole your computer and who you can't post because of how embarrassed he is of you you faked a whole marriage and bought fake rings just in capital letters to post online because you was too busy trying to one up his ex sad desperate and delusional at his finest you can't make me mad about an mf i don't want girl go to hell exclamation point is that kind of day monique is that kind of day all right then shit let's talk about it Welcome back to my channel, Sass here. Child, I'm here for some news. Uh, you can't use, child. Just a quick little video. Child, these folks just, <laughs> it amazes me. Y'all doing all right? I'm doing all right. Let's start off with Melissa. Y'all know Melissa. Love during lockup, life after lockup, love after lockup, child. She's still around there torturing um, Louie. But see, Melissa has a daughter. Okay, Louie also has a child. But Melissa has a daughter, 17-year-old daughter. She's in high school. And she is in the nursing program at her high school. Kudos to her. Good for you, young lady. And so they placed her in a um, nursing home, elderly facility. And in order for her to intern there, she has to take the uh, vaccination shot. So the young girl said, no, I can't do that. Because, see, it's against my religion. My religious belief. And so they said, oh, well, you know, in order for you to work here around elderly people who are sick at times, who are prone to catch a cold, a virus, anything else. Because, see, they're elderly. Okay, their immune systems may be a little bit down. So we're going to need for you to take that good old vaccination. And if you can't take that good old vaccination, see, the same way you end it is the same way you can leave. And that's that on that. So Melissa stepped in. And Melissa said, oh, no. <laughs> uh-uh. See, you're not going to be doing that to my dog. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a lawyer and I'm going to sue you, Brandywine, a.k.a. Shady Pads. This is what Melissa had to say. Well, her lawyer. Melissa provided Brandywine with a request for religious exemption and accommodation from the C-19 vaccination policy. See, they got a whole policy down there at Brandywine. Brandywine... Brandy Wine informed Melissa that they had reviewed and denied the request. D E N I E D denied. Melissa alleges that her daughter's denial of said uh, program in the nursing home violated the New Jersey law against discrimination. And as a result of the denial, her daughter suffered emotional distress, including suffering embarrassment, humiliation, indignity, and other mental anguish. Now, they see, this is what Melissa said. Her daughter is just all tore up because she cannot intern at said nursing home. Is that the only nursing home she can go to? Why can't she go to a hospital? Why can't she go to a place where the vaccination policy is a little bit more lenient? Oh, is it because most of these elderly facilities have that vaccination policy? Is most hospitals have that 
that vaccination policy? See, I don't know. I, I, you let me know, you nurses out there. Is it? Because see, it's against her religious belief. This 17-year-old girl is tore up from her. She is embarrassed. So Brandy Wine said, we don't care. Brandy Wine said, let me, let me show you how we get down. So Brandy Wine said this. And this is all from Starcasm. Child, y'all know I put the link down below. Number one, the New Jersey law against discrimination applies to employers and employees. Let me say it again. See, this pertains to employers and employees and her daughter was not an employee see Brandy Wine said your daughter a whole 17 year old intern see she's in a program she was placed here okay she don't work here so again Okay, it's part, it's part of our policy. Let me tell you something. Melissa, you know, since you so high maintenance, since you down there working at somebody's good old NASA, you in the stock market, you, you got the job of all jobs. Don't your job have a policy and a procedure? See, let me tell you something. If I was to walk into my job tomorrow with green hair, guess what they're going to tell me? They're going to say, Sass, you done lost your damn mind. Because, see, I can't walk into my job with green hair because it's against policy and procedure. See, those are the rules. So, your 17-year-old daughter got her face cracked. Now, see, that is embarrassing. Number two, there is a legal precedent allowing businesses like Brandywine to mandate vaccination of those entering its facility in order to protect its at-risk elderly resident population. And number three, neither Melissa nor her daughter ever stated what the particular religious belief was that prevented her from getting the vaccination. See, when they said, okay, well, what's your religion? Your religion, Jewish. Catholic, Muslim, Christian. What is it? They didn't want to say. Well, Melissa, honey, listen. I'm going to need for you to go to someone else's good old facility that can be a little bit more lenient, like I said before. Now, apparently... Um, they have a court case in June coming up. It don't say how much Melissa is suing these people for. Good luck, Melissa. And good luck to Melissa's 17-year-old daughter that's still in high school that is embarrassed because she can't intern and said, Brandywine. Child, let's move on. Derek. Derek. Now, I know you ain't back in jail. <laughs> Derek, you back in jail? What happened to the club appearances? What happened to the papers that you was getting? What happened to the stacking of the racks? What happened to the radio and the podcast interviews? What happened to you making money, your music? What happened to your um being in that Tubi movie with your wife? Where, where, where's all that at? Oh, see, you're back in jail. Now, according to Monique, who went on a whole Facebook rant about you, Monique said that you are currently in jail and that you're going to be there for a while. That is what Monique said. Monique done gave your wife, or as she put, wife, down the road. A commenter said, listen here, y'all need to get back on this season. Monique said, it'll be a cold day. Because she said that ship has sailed. And she said that Michael fumbled the bag. Michael, if this is true, you and Monique, 
You and Monique had it. No matter what y'all think, Sasters or whomever else, Monique and Michael brought it. They had our butts in the seats. They had us watching. We TV had the biggest ratings that they had with Monique and Michael. Whether you like them or you love them, you were watching them. They wrote TMZ, Shade Room, the bloggers was talking about them. Bad or good, people were talking about Michael and Monique. But guess what happened? You couldn't get yourself situated. Y'all could have had, y'all could have stretched this out for at least two or three more seasons. Look how many times they brought back um, Britney and Latino Heat. But oh no, according to Monique, Michael fumbled the bag. Well, now Michael's in jail. Now, as y'all know, last year Michael got arrested for an assault charge that occurred when he was in prison. He done got into somebody's good old fight, done beat up somebody's job. So he got arrested on that charge. Now, y'all, I looked and I looked and I dug and I dug. I even looked by uh, Starcasm. And they really couldn't find why Michael was um, incarcerated. Don't know if it's a probation violation or parole violation. Don't know if he's arrested because of said charge of um, last year. Don't know if he pled guilty and he just go ahead and do his time. I don't know. But see, what I do know is that as of January the 18th, 2024 at 1.11 p.m., he was transferred from the Chihuahua County Sheriff's Office, I'm assuming their jail, and was placed in another facility. Now, Monique says she ain't bothered. Monique said that she don't care nothing about these people. Monique said that she's just reporting. Monique, you're doing a whole lot of fussing for somebody who don't care. Monique, are you sure you don't care just a little bit, child? <laughs> because, honey, you was dragging him through the mud, child. Eric? Derek? I hope you're doing all right, child. Mmm. You in there for a minute? Let's move on. Last and most definitely least. Now, as we seen on the last episode of Life After Lockup, Blaine had a fit, child. Okay? Him and Lindsay done got into a screaming match, honey. And so, Lindsay was like, you know, Blaine, what did I ever do to you? Why are you talking to me like this? And Blaine said, how about when you ran off or you were with a married man? Now, people were confused by this. People were like, what the heck? What is he talking about? Now, let me just give you the lowdown. Now, before I break down this story, I want y'all to hear something that Deontay said on his Instagram live. And, and the, the rumors is true and y'all ain't together no more. What's about to happen is... She's going to kiss up to him and, and, and sing his praises to either try to get him to come back on or she'll be on there with somebody else or with a woman or with another damn cast member. You heard it here first. I heard what Deontay got to say, child. He done said that Lindsay is a user. Her main goal is to stay on this show. And she will use anybody that she can to stay on this show. Including you, Deontay. Now she, now Deontay says that she just using blame. Okay. And he also says that he felt like that scene where blame is just blowing up and fussing and cussing and mad. He thinks that that was real. That was not scripted. He said, listen, I've been on this show. I know what's real. What is it? And he believes that that was real emotion that Blaine was going through. Now, <clears throat> this whole thing about this married man, let me just cut this down in 30 seconds. Apparently, 
the producers flew some Love After Lockup uh, participants to Los Angeles. Lindsay and Deontay were one of them. Lindsay was in relationship with Blaine. Deontay, at this time, okay, was in a relationship with Cece. All right? Now, this all occurred, I think, in May of 2022, almost two years ago. Okay? So, they were talking. Lindsay texted Deontay and said, are you going to L.A.? Of course, this delighted Deontay a little bit because he ain't heard from. So, Deontay gets to L.A., to the airport. Lindsay shows up and they are hugging each other. Meanwhile, they're both in a relationship. And Deontay's relationship is serious. I'm assuming Lindsay and Blaine was serious too at this time. But they were serious and Cece couldn't stand Lindsay. Cece did not want, which is Deontay's girlfriend, to have any involvement with said Lindsay. But Deontay being Deontay kept the conversation with Lindsay going, knowing good and well that Cece would throw a whole fit. So they go back to the hotel. They go to the hotel. And instead of Deontay staying away from Lindsay, Deontay is all up in Lindsay's hotel room. They talking. Okay? Now he said it wasn't no bang banging going on. He didn't, he didn't pop that back. But he said that, of course, he had no business in Lindsay's whereabouts when they are both in said relationship with other people. So this particular night, they were at some bar, at the hotel bar, or wherever. Lindsay done got drunk, okay? He said that Lindsay was tore from the flow up. She was drinking like she didn't have no liver. And there was this man, a married man there who was feeding her the shots, the drinks. And then one thing led to another. And Lindsay and this man were kissing all over each other, hugging all over each other. Lindsay done wrapped her legs around this man. And then here comes Deontay, filming it. Why did he need to do that? Because it's Deontay, and he ain't have nothing better to do. But he filmed it. Now, there's other cast members there. Now, he didn't say their name because guess why he didn't say their name? Because it's none of their business. Kudos to them. Lindsay's a grown woman. This is a grown man. If Lindsay want to act like a fool, talk like a fool, walk like a fool, drink it like she a whole fish, that's on her. And if the cast members don't want to be involved, so be it. My name Bennett. And I ain't in it. Kudos to them. But see, Deontay took it upon himself to video and film all this. And then it got leaked. Okay? It got leaked. And then there was a whole lot of messy boots going on, you know, Things being sent to blame, things, you know, it was sent to CC, CC, the leak. I mean, it was just a whole mess. See, the reason why I played that little snippet of what Deontay said is because Deontay said that, I don't know if this is the same night or a different night in L.A., but he said that if he didn't step in, that he believed that Kevin and Lindsay would have had it popping off. That cabin would have blown down Lindsay's back. Now see, that's according to Deontay. Now see, the rumor is that Lindsay and Blaine done broke up. I don't know. But see, the thing about it is, is Kevin has been, Kevin, he's been commenting underneath Lindsay's post. And so people have been noticing and they're like, oh, so is anything going on between Kevin and Lindsay? Or is this just a friendly banter of two friends? Because see, if Deontay's thought process comes to true, 
okay? Then that means that if Blaine and Lindsay are not together and Lindsay can get attached to Kevin, then it may be another season of Love After Lockup. Let's see if Deontay will be right. Lindsay, is Deontay right? Now, Lindsay said on her Instagram, she put up a video and she was like, don't be weird. That's what she put. Don't be weird. And so somebody said, girl, you got guys talking about you from two seasons ago. L-M-A-O. And Lindsay put, it's so crazy. I think he's mad I wouldn't respond to his texts. Who didn't respond to your text? Deontay, Deontay, is she talking about you? Are you texting her? Or is she talking about Blaine? But see, I'm thinking she's talking about Deontay. Y'all, the season finale is Friday. Okay? Life after lockup, and then we got to wait for a whole, I don't know, what is it, this summer? Oh, child, what are we going to do? But that's it, y'all. Quick little video. News. You can't use. Okay? To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. All right? And y'all know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends.